Aloha everyone. So today I just wanted to talk about the Saturn moon matrix, what that is and why we're being trapped in this artificial time cube, time, space and matter um, as a result of the moon, which is a part of the occult worship that the religions have people blindly worshiping Saturn, aka Satan. So you know if you take the cross and you divide it into segments it folds up into a cube and the cube represents the artificial time construct so saturn deals with the masculine energy it's it's known as father time and that's what's keeping the karma of this generation trapped running from their karma the whole entire time and that is what is keeping them trapped the moon is dealing with our emotions so this is how they manipulate us because the moon is an artificial satellite base and this new age spiritual community has everybody worshiping the moon and the moon is a distraction. It's really good at pulling people into the artificial time and it's really good at subconsciously targeting people. So the music industry is the Sat is part of the Saturn moon matrix as well as the holidays and music is something that con that moves our emotions, right? It programs our the water in our body to move a certain way, which is how they subconsciously pull us into this thing that, you know, it sounds good, it feels good, it makes us think that it's fun to be in this matrix and pursue whatever the stuff is promoting. I still listen to so-called low vibe music sometimes, but you know, it's work in progress. And I heard that reggae music actually has, is most of it is programmed to 432 hertz, um, whereas the other ones, it's to keep us at a lower frequency. The moon controls the water in our body. It controls the water on the earth and Water is life. So the holidays is also a mass ritual that happens every month, as you know. Um, and they say it's 12 months moons in a year. And it's actually 13 moons in a year. So this is why it's also hidden because Saturn is the occult religion. It is hidden from plain sight. So if you look at Christianity and Judaism and Islam too, they have um, certain parts. I'm gonna include a picture. So Saturn has rings and when people abide to the whole marriage construct of bringing the government in this idea of love, it's like you're putting a ring on your heart meridian because your ring finger is actually, your ring finger is actually directly connected to your heart meridian. So if you're putting Saturn's ring around your heart, it's like you're literally unknowingly participating in a mass ritual that is giving your energy to the false matrix. So they need our energy to run off of because they really are reptilians in disguise. And I know when I say that, some people are gonna think it's crazy, but you know, when, when everything was coming out about adrenochrome and people were first um, being exposed to that, it, it was the red pill. And the next step is, but now we're at a point where collectively everybody accepts that as truth. They know that this disgusting satanic thing is happening, pedophilia and all that, but now we're at a point where people need to take the blinders off and realize it's really reptilians running this show. So on the earth right now, the negative kinds, because if you go way back, <laughs> If you go way back in galactic history and you learn about Maldek and what happened with the Big Bang, which is Nibiru hit crashing into Tiamat as well as Maldek at one point, and Maldek was a planet that the reptilians came from and it was their home base. So a lot of them retreated to Mars, a lot of them moved to Earth and they settled underground. Um, the ones that are more amphibious um, established underwater bases such as the Bermuda Triangle. Um, a lot of, they're on the planet right now. It's not something that is so far out. They're already here They're just hidden from plain sight right now. The matrix is being run by clones and reptilians It's not even people running it at this point because they don't have the emotions and the moon is creepy because if you think about it It's like it, there's one side of the moon that you never see and it's a, it's a base where extraterrestrials are living on saturn is also the only planet that has like hexagons around its north and south poles 
which is kind of creepy as well as the moon being like creepy i'm not gonna lie saturn rules the root chakra which is lead which is the densest element and what blocks the root chakra is fear which is why that's their main weapon in the spiritual war so and the moon rules the third eye so what blocks the third eye is illusions and that's what's being created by all the screens by the artificial blue light that they're projecting on our children at such a young age too because you know that's a whole different thing so this artificial blue light is actually calcifying and making your pineal gland smaller because so many people of us right when they get up they get on their phone right away and that's an issue because you're being exposed to this artificial program before anything else so if you can right when you get up go outside and get some sun in your eyes and, and on your skin like that will set you to the right timeline to start your day with and that's so important that is a game changer another thing is like you should be able to sun gaze at any time of day if you're upgrading constantly and um i know they say like right right when the sun is rising right when the sun is setting if you're new that's a starting point but eventually you want to get to a point where you can literally sun gaze at any time of day even noon and one o'clock the reason why it's so intense right now in terms of them attacking children and our families is because they know that the new children coming in is the future and there's nothing they can do the wind increase. there's nothing they can do at this point because the cosmic energies is picking up and it's way above saturn's ability to contain all of it so if you think about the planets and how they progress it goes jupiter which is like the biggest gas planet of expansion wisdom and abundance and spiritual abundance and growth um, the planet after that is Saturn, so Saturn is what restricts that. And the planet, af the planet after Saturn is Neptune. So in order to break out of the trap of Saturn and the moon, you have to tune into the Neptune energy, which is our psychic abilities. So that's how we break out of the matrix, by awakening your spiritual abilities. And this is something that we're all born with and it's also learning to take sovereignty over the water in your body so as you know it's a fucking spiritual war out here and time is actually the fourth is actually the 4d so that is where saturn is putting the limit on you know if people who can't remember the dreams every night it means that saturn's got you under the spell so time is a non-linear thing it happens in cycles overlapping cycles and it's chaotic it's not just one it's not just one measure of time so if you so if you're really tuning into the neptune energy which is what breaks you out of saturn's matrix we're using our abilities to tap into the future to manipulate time and reality at this present moment so we're moving closer to that a lot of people let emotions dictate their life and that's how you get pulled into the trap of the moon so saturn and the moon are working together to contain our masculine and feminine energy neptune is you know is ruled by pisces originally and it's like the two fish which represents the masculine and the feminine so we had to tap into the water energy which is what pisces is and use that to shape shift and transform this reality into what we want it to be so anything is possible you know and the illusion that Saturn has, the blinders that it puts on us, is to make us think that the physical is the only thing that's real and to make us think that our physical reality is created from only physical matter, which is a complete lie. Everything is created from spirit top down and once we are actually at where we're supposed to be, then shit can actually hit the fan. Right now, everybody is just too distracted in this artificial physical construct and you know people want the extraterrestrials to come and save us but they're already here they're watching us right now and it's not it's not anything outside of us like so yeah so yeah if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up let me know if you have any questions in the comments and peace i hope you have a beautiful day